click on the three by three square, click on drive, click on new, click on more, and click on Google form to get a blank form. We're going to title that form quiz 100 quiz 100 now we go to setting and this is where the bug is you have to click on collect email addresses. I always click on response uh, receipts, but you don't have to. And I always click on limit to one response because I don't want them to keep taking the test forever. If it's multiple choice, then they'll get the correct answer eventually. I'm going to make it a quiz. Here you go. Now you notice that they'll get the feedback immediately so they'll know whether or not they found the correct answer now i'm gonna create my answer egg or chicken and it's a multiple choice the multiple choice is the default and option one is the egg option two is the chicken and option three is neither i'm going to create my answer key and the correct answer yeah click on answer key and the correct answer is neither and how many points i'm gonna give the student i'm gonna give the student three points done Now I'm going to go to, I'm going to click on the eye to preview. And right now I'm looking at the test as a student. You enter my email address and pick an answer. Neither is the correct answer. So I'll pick the correct answer. And then I submit and I can view my score instantly right and it's three over three now here's the fun part now when i go back when i go back as a teacher i can check the uh the responses let me check the responses and I have all the site, I have all the stats. I have the average, the median, and the range. I have the score, you know, beautiful graphs and everything. But more importantly, I have the, the student email. I can choose to release the score and an email will be sent to the student. So basically everything works perfectly. Now we're going to see what happened if you do not collect the email. Now here's the blank quiz. Well, I'm going to name it, uh, I don't know, quiz uh, number 200 or number two. Now this is the blank quiz and in setting, I choose to ignore collect email address, but I, I limited the responses to one, but I ignore collect email address. I made it a quiz. I, I released the grade after submission. Now let me just uh, create my question again quickly. And Google assume that you want the test to be anonymous. 
Now basically, you are testing your students, but you do not want to know their names. You just want to know the score. I mean, this is ideal for a survey or if it's a uh, teacher's um, evaluation, but it's not the, the right formula for a quiz. I'm going to choose the right answer and my response is recorded. I'm going to view the score, perfect score, but here's where I'm going to be in trouble. When I go back as a teacher, everything will be there but the name. Every stat, the test, everything will be there. But because I did not collect the email, I will not know the name. I'm not going to know the name of the student. See, everything is there. Stats, average, median, range. Right? But uh, the, the, the students is identified as uh, response one. And uh, the only thing that's recorded is the time the student took the test. To avoid this problem, you will have to go to your preferences, click on collect email address, and make it a, make it a default. So you save it, which means that any times you're giving a test or a quiz, the student will have to enter his email address.